welcome to my gallery. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, uh, Alexis. Uh, the exhibition is uh, uh, the extended field, so I would like to ask about the meaning uh, of the extended field for each artist. So, Mark, what, what is your extended field or what you would like to say about it? The title came through uh, something that the writer who wrote the catalogue had talked about the extended field. Um, I'd had a long conversation with him uh, about using the grid within my work and where the grid has always been there. Um, I'm very interested in networks, uh, you know, mapping. Um, and I think from going from a much more micro way of uh, using that as a, an influence for source material, most recently, I've been thinking much more macro. So the universe has become a very sort of pivotal point for exploration, you know, through the paintings. And the grid is probably, for me, the most sort of universal image which shows how everything in the universe could be connected. So within this imaginary grid, uh, you can get notions of uh, order and chaos can reside together. Um, so for me, that is about the extended field in a very minimal sort of way. Um, so everything that happens within the universe, whatever happens here to, towards the end of a star system is all sort of connected, interconnected. We are all connected. And the grid is a, a sort of, it's the best sort of form which helps to show the conduits that connect everything within the universe. Very clear, thank you. What about you and your extended field? Um, I think it, it's a fantastic um, title. It also it suggests a kind of unity, but it also suggests the opposite. It suggests um, breaking that and disruption. And that's why it's a pleasure to show with Marx at the moment where Marx's work's moving to, and there's a fluidity and there's a pouring of paint. Um, the grid is a kind of carrier. It's a structure to carry ideas through. So for me, it's kind of to do with um, breakage and it's to, do with, it's to do with an entropy and the body and skin and a fragility and um, so f it was exciting to use the grid again after, I don't know, a decade for me um, and try to still see if it's flexible and it's, um, can it signify and carry ideas. So, and it's, I think the show is interesting, it's a kind of paint, a bit of a collision and it's a painting debate and um, it does kind of, the, it moves or pulsates between um, order and control as Mark as Mark has mentioned. So um, it's a pleasure for me also, because I saw Mark's painting when I was, when I was a second year student. So it's, it's finally nice to have that kind of confrontation or that kind of discussion with the paintings themselves. So it's a, it's a real pleasure as well. But it's interesting, the grid. In modernism, it was the most iconic form. And I suppose in the 21st century, people would say, is that image relevant? Um, I personally think it is as relevant as it is today. It seems to have easily moved from the 20th to the 21st century. There's a lot of other painters who use the grid in a very deadpan way, but um, I'm not, not interested. It's interested in how it can carry ideas and the slippage and the fracture and the breakage. And, and I'm hope, I hope my work does that. I know Mark's work is analytical and it's flamboyant at the same time and it's unfixed. So. It's, it's very kind of exuberant, and part of the text was about that kind of sensuality of the paint, as well as it being a kind of, as well as having criticality in one's work. And um, to have the two things collide, or is it more like the grid, and how it's been used in sort of minimalist painting, which is in a very controlled sort of graphic way. You know, the idea is to, well, for me, is to try and break away from that and, and sort of make it more complexity to it and maybe a disintegration of it as well where the structure of it can be broken up and again this goes back to the, the way I think of the universe like a, it could be like a supernova explodes and everything in that area is totally decimated but when uh, control returns to that area all the particles go back into their order again so the chaos is finished in order and comes back good um I mean, it's such a, bo it's such, it's like the monochrome, it's the most ordinary, most boring motif, but the challenge is to imbue it, and to, and to imbue the paint with something specific, and, um, 
and the, the show attempts that. It, it attempts to um, drive a kind of idea, in a sense, to kind of breathe life into it again. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, thanks for being here. Okay.